Rangermorphs had no mouths, guts, arms, legs or reproductive organs, but an ancient network of strings may have helped them dominate the ocean floor anyway. Some of the earliest animals on Earth may have used social networks to chat with each other, review food, and yes, maybe even sexed. In a study published Thursday, March 5th, in the journal Current Biology, researchers looked at hundreds of rangermorphs, bizarre, fern-like animals that lived in large colonies on the bottom of the ocean from about 571 million to 541 million years ago, fossilized along the coast of Newfoundland, Canada. To the team's surprise, many of the fossil specimens appear to be connected to each other by long, string-like filaments never seen among animals this old. Individual filaments spanned anywhere from a few inches to 13 feet 4 meters in length and connected rangermorphs from seven different species, forming what lead study author Alexander Liu called a primitive social network of deep-sea dwellers. These organisms seem to have been able to quickly colonize the seafloor, and we often see one dominant species on these fossil beds, Liu, a professor at the University of Cambridge's Department of Earth Sciences, said in a statement. These filaments may explain how they were able to do that. Rangermorphs are thought to be some of the earliest non-microscopic animals on Earth, spreading prolifically during the end of the Ediacaran period, roughly 635 million to 541 million years ago, despite having no noticeable mouths, guts, reproductive organs or means of moving around, scientists think the creatures dug into the mud on the ocean floor, passively sucking nutrients out of the water using symmetrical, leaf-like branches. Their methods worked well, apparently, as rangermorph colonies dominated huge plots of the seafloor for 30 million years. Different species ranged from less than 1 inch .02 meters, to 6.5 feet 2 meters, in length, and some may have physically changed shape to better capitalize on the nutrients available around them. You could reasonably call rangermorphs the mighty morph and flower rangers of the Ediacaran and annoy only a few scientists in the process. Because rangermorphs never really moved around, the fossil record includes entire colonies of the creatures preserved as they actually lived. When Lou and his colleagues found fossilized filaments connecting rangermorphs at 38 different dig sites, it became clear that this sinewy network played an important role in connecting individual colony members. That role, however, remains a mystery. The filaments may have helped stabilize colony members against strong currents, the authors hypothesized, making each colony into a sort of living picket fence. Perhaps the filaments were used to transfer nutrients from animal to animal, sort of how trees connected at the roots can share resources today. Or perhaps the links were a tool for clonal reproduction, a type of asexual reproduction where the parent organism creates multiple identical clones of itself. This would have allowed rangermorphs to spread across large sections of the seafloor very rapidly, the authors wrote. Further study of rangermorph fossils is required to unravel the mystery of these filaments. Alas, it seems this social network is password protected, with impressive cutaway illustrations that show how things function, and mind-blowing photography of the world's most inspiring spectacles.